There's like certain aunties where I would have to give a warning to my husband, like, I want to oh, understand, man, again, again, again. Anything that she says, just put it at the back. Pinch of She's salt. like that, Pinch of salt. really. Yeah. Just smile and say, okay, mm -hmm. auntie. And then you, you move on by. What's happening, LNM fam? Hey, LNM fam, welcome back to another video. My name is Leto, also known as Akuma. So, in today's video, we are talking about the in laws. Are they really hard to love? So, we're just going to be sharing our story why we choose to love our in laws and how that has benefited our relationship. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please do click on the subscribe button and join the LNM fam. Please also do check us out on our social media pages. We have left the links on the description box. Also, we're trying to reach 100, no, not 100, 1,000 likes on this video. So please do click on that like button before you even carry on. Please, 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 please. And we're also trying to reach 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So please go ahead and subscribe and help us reach that goal. My name is Mr. Cham Tiller Die, also known as Mr. Cham, child of God. People change but not god is it two chains or not god it's still a mystery also known as mr ld long oh no lulo's dad and ah oh, baby i almost lied <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. i can neither confirm nor deny i almost lied <laughs> It took me a while to reach no. it. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. wow. Yeah. This video is a holy video, guys. Uh, please do not click out and don't mind my husband. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. But I mean, look, you're the one that pointed it out. People, no, the people that watch like, this channel, they have an innocent mind. You know, actually, yes, baby, there's, there's that scripture. I don't know if we're going to be sharing it later in the video. The one mm -hmm. that's, that says uh, nothing can separate us from the, from love, the love of God. Of God. I mean, that's, that's been our scripture for um this for this season that's yeah. that's that's really where it says is it is it uh trials and tribulations is it is it what? life or death life or death yeah. and and then it says i'm convinced that nothing is going to separate us from the love of god but for now we are talking about the in-laws mm. so with with this topic we just thought maybe we would share um i mean you you guys have seen that we we really value our we hope that you would have seen by now that we value our relationships, relationships with, with, with our in-laws, being um, each other's siblings, each other's parents. We, we just love to nourish those relationships. Mm. So today we just want to share um, the importance mm. of, of us being able to love our, our in-laws and how it benefits our marriage. Yes. But we, we, we are not taking away from the fact that some in laws are just from hell. Like they oh, maybe from hell. Is, is it, is <laughs> it too harsh? Hard. Some in laws are just hard, make it hard to love them. Yeah. But I believe that we are called to love. That's one of the greatest commandments for us to yeah. love one another. So mm. as hard as it is, we must always make an effort as people of God. Yeah, and, and also it's it, 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 look you can do everything right from your yeah. side because it's it's not a one-way street i mean yes. you you have to give and receive at the same time so yeah. we 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 also acknowledge the fact that it is a blessing from god that you, to get in laws that want to to receive meet you halfway you know well. because someone could just be rejecting you saying that you've come to take away my son and then you're gonna be eating my money or or vice versa so yeah, yeah let's let's before we drag the video yes yeah. let's let's dive into the video so from my side, how I've seen it benefit our marriage, because I mean, we are from different provinces. Mm -hmm. um, she's from Kezel and I'm from the Eastern Cape. And apparently, Eastern Cape is Yabuya yeah, or is the Eastern Cape. So, yeah, we by now, <laughs> if, if, if we didn't have that, she didn't have that great, good relationship with my parents, it, I think it was going to make it hard for her to want to go to my home. So, mm -hmm. 
the benefit that we've we, we've gotten from that is is the fact that it it makes it easier for us yeah. to go to each other's home because at least you're not you're not dreading it. Yes, yeah. yeah. You know that you're gonna see people that you love. Yes, and and also like you're not gonna get there. And then you have to pretend as if you don't see them or, yeah. or it's, it's awkward vibes. Like yes. when you're going home, it feels like you really are going, going to your home. home. Because yes. look, the, the honest truth is that it is not your home. Therefore, if yeah. people, <laughs> if people yeah. do not make you feel like you are at home, yeah. then, then you're not going to feel at home. Yeah. And I can always say to you, I know, babe, you can, you can go. It's, yeah. it, well, I mean, if, if you're yeah. going to your home uh, and then... And, I don't think it's nice. I don't yeah. think it's nice. I mean, if, if, if you're out there and, and you probably are experiencing the same thing where you, when, when your husband goes home, mm. you don't go with them, please do share with us, like, how does it, it affect you? Hard, hey? I, I can only imagine yeah. how hard it is. So it, it is a blessing from our side that we are very well received mm. on both sides of, yeah. of and our Yeah, And also families. like with that as well, it doesn't mean every time he goes home, I'm so eager to go home. It's also the Eastern came I'm like, that's, sometimes yeah. I'm like, I think this time around you can go on your own. Yeah. And that's the truth. And, and that's the truth. Fine. You know? Yeah. We have to strike a balance. Ah, uh, but uh, so, sorry, babe. But uh, I I'm I must say when I go to KZN, I yeah. I it's nice. Yeah. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like they treat him like um Kenya and I'm like, oh, it's like, not even so like for instance Obviously, I get the perks of being a son and Mkwenyana at the same yes. time. Yeah, they so treat it's the, you like a son's son. Yes, so I'm the well-respected son, basically. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, so uh, it's the son and then Kfagwe, Leo Mkwenyana. So, for instance, if Mkambi Gucha goes to Kofutaga, goes to Kofutaga, goes to Kofutaga, goes to Kofutaga, goes to Keta, Keta, Keta. Yeah, well, so, so for me, uh, and... Because I grew up like that, yes. I, I, I appreciate the fact that they treat me as a son as yes. opposed to mm. So um, it, it's, a, it's a blessing, guys. And we, our hearts really goes um, to those that, are, that do not have good relationships with, with their in-laws. And yeah. let, us, let us pray. Prayer changes things, man. One day yeah. you, you find your mother-in-law calling you and, and saying, come, come home and all those things. And... and it can turn around so for me um it, it 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 makes it easier not to it helps because you don't easily take offense you know whenever something is said so if you love your in-laws you don't easily take offense for instance sometimes my nekaya and mom it's yo my god it's get stuck it's a bit short mm. i'm not gonna be thinking something out in the being a panda we're doing a pilot we're doing it needs to be fixed mm. so like i'm always picking. yeah so i i always receive that with love and yeah. with me thinking Vela, she loves me i'm also yeah. on my side coming yeah. from a point of this is a person that i love and yeah. i know that she wouldn't just want to offend me it's coming from her treating me like a daughter in the yeah. house and she wants to make sure yeah. that i'm also presentable because i know the neighbors will not be so kind as kind um they may yeah. say it straight i will say oh my god we are good mm-hmm. and i don't don't even mm-hmm. though you feel like your skirt is long enough so there's those things as well even when she's here and she's asking me to do certain things, mm. I'm not easily offended. Yeah, you know? yeah, because hey, offense is, is always there for someone to to take. You yeah. Know? So if if I already am feeling unsettled about yes. certain things, it will be easy when like literally, I wonder when we went home um, recently to Gatesa. Mm. And then they were saying we must take out cars, and yeah. and then they will just give you a key, and then say yeah, tati mo tu ambu yo 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 landingu nile. Yeah. Yeah, but if if already I'm I'm on the you edge, I'll be yeah, I'll yeah. be thinking but but when I'm on those cool little locator, yeah. but why are they why are they picking me? Yeah. But for me, actually, it's the opposite because yeah. I'm like yeah, well, then God, yeah, 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 because it, it, there's ways. Yeah, when I with. Uh, I mean, I was going to say, well, with black people, mm. but I am going to say with black people because I've only been black. <laughs> <Yeah>. I haven't been. <laughs> yeah. With black people, sometimes there's an element of, uh, there's a way that they will show you love, yeah. but in actually tough love, in a way yeah. they're saying, yeah, because Abu's a Polish is Islam. Yes. That's how they will show you love. So yeah. if, and I would take offense if I'm not, and yes. I'm supposed to be your son. So for me, it, um, 
it's really nice to also be affirmed in your heart that they 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 they, they love you yeah, and they even care with about them you. calling you by name because I know I um, mm. my even said my mom on the video yeah on the video goes yeah uga katsa zeki ifu sikbi zake kama simbule lombule uga otu mkenya na it sounds for me inga tia discriminator yeah. anyway it's like yeah we na uko and I know so take it as kulile mkenya na mkenya na like na kama mna <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if if you one person who doesn't love your in-laws, that thing can easily offend you. Yeah. I will why bring this thing up my person in Kenya and they support exactly. to respect me. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Show some respect on my name. Um, one of the benefits we've also seen actually with with our marriage and and having like good relations with with in-laws and also having someone that mm. loves your in-laws is you are able to transparently communicate with your partner yeah. with your wife um well your partner if if maybe you're not married as yet so you know when you get into marriage there's certain things there's certain responsibilities especially i speak as a man mm-hmm. here there's certain responsibilities that you you have at home like mm-hmm. where you're sending money to your siblings you're sending money to to your mother to your parents basically and then the transition sometimes can be kind of tricky where you 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 don't know how to handle this thing is it going to stop and and quite honestly the family members are also concerned about ish about now that <laughs> he's studying his own family we have valega lam thombo you know so but but if you if you know that someone cares about your family you you sit on the table and say hey listen babe um at the but i mean i think it would be too late if you only discussing it once you married um to say that i am currently sending money to my mom i am yes. currently sending my uh, money to my cousin uh, i'm currently sending money to <laughs> to my sisters and all that <laughs> so yeah. and but if mkambe you know that the person like who valent is you when it comes to your family unfortunately yeah. first of all you are not interested in the things that concern my family yes. therefore i- including money and it will make me angry you're sending money home a- exactly yeah 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 that's that's a curse word in course of our day um but but uh, but that's that's normal language though <laughs> i just had to use it um so yeah in, in in terms of transparency like you don't have people calling you on the side saying hey, and then i can't communicate that yeah with and then there's imali puma on the side and then you don't uh, understand why uh, certain thing why we are no longer going on dates exactly so transparency transparency yeah, transparency it's very important so our last one is it helps with receiving honest feedback from your partner when it comes to your family yeah. so as much as there's transparency also when there's one cousin who's always asking for money <laughs> i can say I get interview every month mm-hmm. so we are able to to give that honest feedback and also if there's someone who didn't treat you well because as much as we choose to love our in-laws there's always that one person maybe yeah. who will press the buttons so you and can always, always like someone it, that's always someone uh, who's in the there. outer circle yeah, yeah. hey those ones they will come and like, ah, Yeah, uh, so you are always able to just come to your partner and say, you know, Andrew Spanman said this to me and I didn't like that. And you because your partner knows that you love your family, mm. you wouldn't just come and try and stay up trouble. Um they will receive that. So it makes it easier as well to give feedback and also receive feedback from your partner. Yeah, um, uh, you know, for me, I I think it's it's also important to understand that my family loves her. Mm. and she also loves my family so that i can be able this is a bonus point by the way okay <laughs> I, I, i i can be able to protect her against mm. certain things from my family let's say kambe e family am because they 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 won't know her as much as i do so there's mm. certain things let's say they want her to carry like heavy things and then kambe she's got a she's got a certain condition because i know but abaza mumqilaza but they are treating her as part of the family i am able to say but oh no mama let me rather carry that one because um but even kambe ndayazi ba akayilanduzi aka like she doesn't care about my family 
it, it would be difficult for me to now stand in the way because I don't know whether she's complaining because this is something that she can't do mm. or she's complaining because Vela, she just doesn't like my mother. So it yeah. makes it easier for me to judge, to say, okay, this one, yeah. I'll take yes. care of it. So yeah. I always emphasize this point about protecting your wives from yeah. your family. In fact, I think it goes both ways. Yeah, you must always protect because now when we go home there's like certain aunties where i would have to give a warning to my husband like i'm almost oh and this man man again again that one <laughs> anything that she says just put it at the back of she's salt, like that salt, really yeah. just smile and say okay <laughs> auntie and then you you move on by yeah. Fam, is there anything that you would love to share with us when it comes to just building those relationships and also what you think or what you know for sure that it benefits your marriage when it comes to your partner loving your in-laws and in-laws i mean extend to siblings yeah. um siblings also extend to to cousins as oh, well cousins. because i mean we grew up we grew up Blushed. having cousins mm -hmm. yeah and and those cousins are basically our sisters and brothers yes. so do share with us Guys, and like we said yes, i'm yes. checking this video it hasn't reached 100 likes when i look down <laughs> <laughs> come on come on what are you waiting for <laughs> click on the subscribe button we are waiting we are waiting <laughs> click on the subscribe button come and on like we have to video. get to thirty thousand. <laughs> yeah man um guys we are gonna see you once again i forgot what i was gonna say but let me give you that that verse that i actually spoke about that mm -hmm. says nothing can separate or separate us from the love of god Konje, it's from romans something romans 8 i think <laughs> romans 8 uh it starts from verse 33 it says who dares accuse us whom god has chosen for his own no one for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the, right, in the place of honor at God's right hand pleading for us. Can anything, come on now, can <laughs> anything separate us from, the lo from Christ's love? Does, it, does, it, does he no longer love us if we have trouble or calamity or persecuted? or hungry, or destitute, or in danger, um, or threatened with death, as scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day, we are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these, over, uh, all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ, who loves us. And verse 38 now, and I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither fears, um, our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even fears, uh, not even the powers of hell can separate us from the love of God. Amen. Thank you, man. That is the verse uh, that we, we've really been um, meditating on. You know, we have to sound deep. <laughs> meditating on as, as children of God. And we don't know why we had to share it. We didn't plan it. Um, mm -hmm. it, it probably is going to land um, in someone's heart that, that really needs it. May your neighbors respect you. Troubles neglect you. Family embrace you. And God bless you. And may your pain and shame be champagne. May your shame and pain be champagne okay yeah because yeah. if if you are saying pain and shame uh, your pain and shame that's pain shame but if you're saying shame pain shame pain mm -hmm. so shame pain mm -hmm. but if you're saying pain and shame so it's now pain shame <laughs> yeah hi guys <laughs>